I'm a product of a broken marriage that I broke. Messed up a good job at Granite City Steel of 20 years. And after that, I just didn't care anymore. I wanted to be alone. Didn't want to talk, didn't want to see nobody. Just wanted to be left alone and be alone. People come to us when they're at one of their lowest points and we can be that person behind them, pushing them forward, helping them get there. St. Patrick is like, a, uh, I want to say it's like a lifeboat while you're in the midst of a sea drowning. We may be the only person there to really be able to help them and advocate for them, make sure they get their basic needs met, and just to show them what it is to care about someone and to see that they're worth something. The most important thing that we can do is build that relationship with our client. Paying rent is the easy part. Writing the check to the landlord every month is the easy part. They go past the job, you know. They, they talk to you because they care, you know. I had the privilege to work with him for almost a year and he's funny, he's polite, he's sincere, um, and most of all, he's just grateful and really ready to work. Every time I ever needed something or I had a question, she was there with the answer. We meet clients where they're at. Um, there's no rules or barriers for housing. We now know that housing someone first is the best way to do it. It is the best practice. You've got to remove barriers. You can't set up criteria or hurdles for people to jump before you get them into housing. I had to want it and it took me a while to get there. A uh, matter of fact, it took me a long time to get there. Housing is a basic need of ours and we kind of look past it. Um, but we have clients who have been homeless for 20 years or more and that's a huge change. When I really noticed that I started wanting it is when I started having a craving to get a dog. I ain't had a dog in over 50 years and all of a sudden I got this little dog on my mind. I'm thinking, why do I want a dog? And as I kept praying and thinking, it was to get outside of myself, you know, start loving something other than myself. It makes sense that when you house someone, they're no longer homeless, and they can actually work on sustaining their place, work on stability, whether it's finances, employment, and with case management, we help with that. The minute I got beside myself to allow myself to listen and entertain some of the things that were suggested to me, it just got better. There's evidence and research that shows that everything changes when you're housed. Your income levels go up, your health outcomes go up, your educational achievement goes up. And the thing I really want to say more than anything, when I first thought about St. Patrick's and for a long time it was just somewhere to go get a meal, but it's way more than that. When I say just, not just the donors, but I'm talking about St. Patrick's as a whole, uh, they've been there for me for so long, they're like they're a part of me.